Hello everybody and today I have kind of an interesting video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you iPhone OS 2.0 running on the iPhone 3G. This phone was released in July of 2008 and it was the second iPhone ever made and it's running its original operating system iPhone OS 2.0 so I'll show you that here in settings you can see 2.0 um, it wasn't even called iOS back then, it was called iPhone OS, so kind of interesting. So today we're going to be looking back at the second ever firmware for the iPhone. So I'm going to start by just opening up all these apps. So here is the texting app, it's called just text, it wasn't even called messages, I think is what it's called now. And it actually says SMS right there on the icon, so let's open that up. So that is what it looked like. Next we'll look at calendar. So you can see, day, month. So yeah. Next let's look at photos. So here are some of the photos I've taken. And this is actually the first version where you could screenshot. So going back, you can see um, we have the share button. You can use this wallpaper, which, by the way, as you can see, you can't even set a wallpaper on the home screen. It's just a black background. You can only set wallpapers on the lock screen there. So if you want to use it as a wallpaper, It'll be your lock screen wallpaper. You can email, assign to contact. You can also, of course, delete it. And you can actually use these buttons down here to go between the photos. And you can also do a slideshow. So, there's that. Photos. And next, let's look at the camera. So you can see it opens up like that camera would like to use your current location. This is actually the first version where you could geotag photos as well with the GPS and using your location. So as you can see, there's no settings whatsoever. You basically just take a picture and you can view it right here. So there it is. And then you can go back to the camera. Um, you can't tap to focus. There's no zoom. There's not even a video mode nothing you just take a picture and it will tag it with your location that's basically it so pretty simple there next up there is actually a youtube app there used to be this in the older versions of ios um, of course it doesn't work at all as you can see can't connect so it doesn't work anymore you have your stocks right here can't even rotate it, I don't think. Um, so yeah. Next up is Maps. So here's the Google Maps, as you can see there. So we can zoom in. And there is actually a satellite mode, as you can see. And hybrid under, I think this, yeah, this hybrid map. So that's pretty cool. List, drop pin, you can go to your current location. So it's not finding my location for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you can do directions here. So yeah, pretty basic again. Next up we have weather. So it's updating. I don't know if it will. Um, this comes with Cupertino in New York. And I think you can add your current location maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you just have to add your city. I don't even think you can do locations. But yeah, I don't know if it's gonna update at all. So yeah, weather. Next we have clock. 
So we have our world clock, which just has Cupertino. And we have an alarm clock, of course. And we have stopwatch. And timer. I should turn on the sounds, by the way. So you can, we have the sound effects there. Yeah. Next up is the calculator. Pretty old looking overall. Everything is. And we have the notes app. Um, let's see what we have. Okay. Um, I'm gonna type something. Done. Okay, so you can email it. Delete it. That's pretty much it. Next up we have the settings. So let's take a look at this. You have airplane mode. You have your Wi-Fi here. And fetch new data. It's kind of in a weird place. You have your push data. So those settings there. You have your sounds. So you can do a vibrate. Um, change the volume. Let's look at some of these ringtones. So I've downloaded some custom ones. Um, but let's look at some of the ringtones. So those are all of the ringtones, and let's also look at the text tone. They get set none, the classic tritone, chime, glass, horn, bell, and electronic. So not a lot to, cho to choose from there, just six text tones. So for the voicemail, new mail, sent mail, calendar, you can't even set your own alert tone. It just has a default one, so for voicemail, tritone, new mail is the ding, sent mail is the swoosh, and calendar alerts is the alert. And you also have your lock sounds, of course, and keyboard clicks. So next we have brightness, um, just brightness. You also have auto brightness there. And let's go to wallpaper. Let's see which wallpapers we have here. So here are all of the classic wallpapers. Pretty cool. So those are all of the default wallpapers, and of course you can set your own from your camera roll. Next let's go to general, you can see about, um, you can name your device in iTunes, you can't even name it on the actual phone. So yeah, we've got all that stuff. Um, let's go to usage, you can see your time since last charge, call time, cellular network. You can't even add the battery percentage, unfortunately. You have your network here, Bluetooth, location services, um, auto lock, pretty much the same, passcode, of course, and restrictions. This is also the first version you could set restrictions in. Home button, this is pretty cool. So there's no multitasking when you double tap the home button, as you can see, it just takes you straight to your 
phone favorites, but this can be customized in settings. So the home button, you can just go straight back to the home screen or your phone favorites or iPod. You also have iPod controls there. Date and time set automatically, of course. Which, um, this is the wrong time zone. Okay, there we go. And then we've got keyboard. So, for some reason, caps lock isn't on by default, which is weird. Turn off auto caps, period shortcut, international keyboards here. And international, you can change your language, region, and reset, which is pretty much the same as it is nowadays. So next, let's go to the mail, contacts, calendars, so you can add your mail account, all these old ones, all these settings, yeah. And then phone, TTY, Safari, iPod, and photos, so you can change your slideshow, transition, do repeat, shuffle, all these things for the slideshow. So next we have the iTunes store and the app store and this is also the first version with the app store. Now there's really no apps you can download on it, the app store didn't even work for me, but we can still look at them. So this is the iTunes store, we've got featured, top 10, search and downloads. You can see it doesn't connect to the iTunes store because it's just too old. Oops, okay. So, let's go ahead and go to the App Store. Pretty much looks the same. And yeah, it doesn't connect. So you can't really download apps on this whatsoever. Um, we've got our phone, favorites, recent, contacts, and keypad. So there's what that looks like. Um, voicemail doesn't work because I don't have a SIM card. We've got our mail. So I don't have a account set up there. You have your Safari web browser. This is what it looks like. It's so old. Um, let's go to the apple.com. It's going to take forever to load. So it's not even loading properly. So yeah, kind of weird. Um, how do you even close it? I don't know how you even close the tabs. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you can only close it if you have multiple tabs. This is the iPod, which is basically where you um, play your music and your videos. All in one app there. This is what the player looks like. You can tap and get these controls here. And you have this. You can rate the song. So yeah, there's the iPod app. And then on the next page you just have your contacts application. Like that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Of course, you can rearrange them. You can't make folders even. There's no notification center, control center, of course. Not even spotlight search or anything. So yeah, pretty basic overall. Um, this was the second ever iPhone firmware on the second ever iPhone. So it's kind of cool just to take a look back, and I guess I never showed you the lock screen. Um, that's what it looks like, just slide. So yeah, that is iPhone OS 2.0 on the iPhone 3G. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.